Hi everyone, happy Friday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football. Two box, random pack break number 14. Big thanks to these folks for getting in on it. Now, <laughs> Darren, Darren saying, I was going to tell everybody, uh, it's a random pack break, so I'm going to sticker all the packs so we know. And then we'll randomize the pack numbers with your names. You're going to get matched up with the pack right here. Now, Darren's saying, your favorite part of the break is where the packs get stickered. Joe always says to skip it, but I would advise against that. No, skip it. If you're re-watching the video, you don't want to watch me like sticker packs. That's the boring part of the break. If you're watching, now if you're watching live, you're just stuck with me, stickering packs. But if you're watching the replay, you can click. I think whatever. I think if you click the letter L, that should should click it ten seconds forward. You can avoid this part. You want to see me do? <laughs> yeah, this content is deep cuts. Like if you want to. I mean, this. I guess this is where, like, inside jokes could happen here. Some random conversation. I guess to each their own, yeah. Although the Porter House Take has been watching the Jaspies show long enough, where he's probably sick of all the regular stuff. <laughs> so now it is deep cuts, like Jason's saying. Now he's just watching all the deep cuts here. I mean, this is where, like, conversation can actually happen, because this is, like... Right? Like during the break, it's harder to chit chat about stuff because I'm like working and doing a break, but this is where you can goof around. You have any questions, Darren? <laughs> Porterhouse Steak has been waiting all day for the stickering. I guess, you know what? If we had, if we had advertising, this is where I do advertising. I'd be like, this break brought to you by Jack in the Box, you know, get your whatever from Jack in the Box, whatever they're selling at Jack in the Box right now. That would be where we'd sell some ad. Ad space would be right here in this, this spot. Leading right into the randomizer. People always pay attention on the randomizer. That's where, where I feel like that's where the most people pay attention. All right, we're going to randomize names and pack numbers six times, one in a five. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, we got Rafa down to Darren. One and a five, six times for the pack numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sixth and final time. This randomizer brought to you by random.org, the official randomizing service of jazbeescasebreaks.com. Random.org. Random today. Did I do this right? Six times, six times. <laughs> six is on top, 10 on the bottom. Raphael with six, Daniel with one, Dayton with eight, Darren with 11, Daniel with 12, Darren with nine and three, Corey with four, Karen with five, Darren with seven, Jason with two, and Darren with 10. I think we're gonna do these alphabetically. That'd be the easiest. I feel like people got multiple packs right here. There you go, let's do this alphabetically. Darren, you have the most packs, you're gonna go last. Sorry. <laughs> right, right, there you go. Yeah, every time, Every time I pull some train whistles, yeah, you get a free jumbo jack with the purchase of large drink the day after I pull X amount of train whistles. In uh, for the Dodgers, Brian, the the jack and the jumbo jack promo is uh, ten strikeouts for the Dodgers. Everyone knows that the Dodgers could score to hit home runs at will, so they got to do something harder like strikeouts. Although Dodgers can get the strikeout total up there too. I don't know. If you're in a different city from LA and San Diego, what is your uh, what is your jumbo jack promo out there, if any, at your baseball stadium? For the Dodgers, ten strikeouts. I think Brian's saying for a home run after the day after Padre hits home run. 
Yeah, I think the Dodgers are giving away a lot of lot of lot of jumbo jacks. Contenders, draft picks, FB football, RP, random pack number fourteen. I would imagine most teams would be the same, like strikeouts and home runs, but maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe some stadiums, it's like if they win, Jumbo Jacks. What, what about in Chicago? Jumbo Jack promo in Chicago is you buy a Jumbo Jack, you get a free receipt. All right, that's not a very good promo. Come on, Cubs. Yeah, only LA area, Jack in the Box. I actually have never taken advantage of that. I should. Corey, you've got one pack. You're up first. I, I need, need bags for this. All right, so Corey, pack four. No, not, not lately. Uh, we pulled some nice stuff, but no, nothing as good as that, Jason. Are there a lot of fights at Dodger Stadium? I mean, <laughs> there haven't. I don't think there have been major fights at Dodger Stadium since like the late '90s. There's Samuel Cosme, college ticket autograph. Man, is Dodger Stadium still getting that rap from from ages ago? There was. Uh, there's been a couple like unfortunate like isolated incidents in like the parking lot that one that one infamous incident with the uh with that giants fan thank you Corey, for getting in but nowadays in the last like 20 years yeah it's it's pretty tame all right darren your group of packs are going to be a little bit later thanks for your patience on that and there's daniel 12 and one. So here's one right here, the first pack and the last pack. Good luck, Daniel. Yeah, even that incident, Darren, was I think more than like 10 years ago, maybe even longer than that. But even then, that was kind of a shocking story for a lot of, for a lot of Los Angeles because it had been pretty, pretty tame inside the stands for such a long time. So fake news. Dodgers say I'm still getting a bad rap, I guess, in some necks of the woods. There's Austin Watkins, autograph. It's a cool team logo right there, that dragon. All right, and Daniel, one more pack for you. Ooh, I think this is a uh, this is one per case. The campus ID, the Devonta Smith. Nice. You still should have an autograph. Yes, and Marco Wilson. So there you go, Daniel. Got the case hit. They generally fall one per case. I don't think they're guaranteed one per case, but I think majority of the time they do fall one per case. And you got the Marco Wilson right there. Yeah, it was that. Yeah, the the sto the the guy that got hurt out there in the parking lot was also no angel, but it was it was a bad situation for everybody. <laughs> All right, thank you, Daniel. Dayton, you've got a pack, pack eight. Good luck. Nothing jaw dropping yet, so. So a lot of opportunities here. And we've got a Notre Dame player. We've got Ben Skoronek. Ben Skoronek. He seems pretty proud of himself right there. Ben Skoronek. There's Daniel Jones. 
and the rest. Obviously, all card shipped. Dayton, thank you very much for grabbing a pack. I appreciate it. All right, a few more to go, and then we'll do all of Darren Porterhouse Stakes packs. Jason Parsons, pack two. Karen, you're on deck. And we got Jalen Darden. That's a catch. Is Jalen Darden? I think someone someone needs to tell him to sign your name, not print your name. All right. So not one of the huge names here, Jason. But thanks for giving it a shot. Karen, you're up next, and then Raphael, you are on deck. Pack five. Good luck. And the autograph is going to be Patrick Jones, the second. College ticket autograph. Defensive end out of pit. Yeah, it's a pretty bad auto. Oh, I, John, I'll tell you what, though. I have seen worse. Thank you, Karen. Um, there's usually... And here you go, Raphael with pack six. The penmanship in this draft class is actually pretty decent. In previous years, there were a lot of like, a lot of like two-letter autographs that are, were just printed. So we, I have seen worse years, but but yeah, you gotta sign your name. All right, Raphael, you're gonna get from Cal Cameron Bynum, defensive back corner out of Cal, Cameron. And we got conference ticket card, Allen Robinson to 199. All right, thanks, Raphael, for giving this a go. All right, well, the rest will go to Darren, the Porterhouse Steak. So now, as far as Darren's concerned, I think he's got to feel okay because we really didn't see too many jaw droppers in the first half of the pack. So let's just double check I got this right. There's pack 11. Pack nine, pack three, pack seven, pack ten. Ten, seven, three, nine, eleven. Ten, seven, three, nine, and eleven. All right. Darren, good luck. I don't remember Carlos Henderson's auto. Was that a bad one? All right, we got Jason Owe. From Penn State. Trey Lance, nice. Trey Lance, college ticket on card autograph. Getting that Niners quarterback. Yes, we have had some Trevor Lawrence's out of here. Take a look at our uh, big hit gallery on jazbeescasebreaks.com at the bottom of the page. I think one should still be should still be up. Out of 199, Adrian Peterson. Pulled a really nice trade on Trevor Lawrence. All right, Darren, next pack. So far, so good. Got a Spencer Brown college ticket auto. Is that a, it's a dragon, right? That's that's a pretty pretty cool college logo. If if I went to college there and was a was an athlete there, I'd probably get that tattooed on me. 
Oliver saying that that Trey Trevor Lawrence auto kind of looks like Trey Lance. I mean, I've never seen them in the same room together. Maybe they're the same person. All right, next pack, Darren. Thank you for getting in. And your next autograph is going to be... It's going to be Woop Filior. Woop Filior? Woop. I'm going to go with Woop. There it is. Sprinkles. All right, and Darren's final pack. Good luck. And your last autograph, Darren, is gonna be is gonna be Monty Rice. He he must have done something well. He's happy. All right. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, everybody, for getting in. I appreciate it. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.